the rigor is there. They have to go to classes, really put their, their best foot forward and academically succeed. At the same time, on the flip side, the companies that we're working with to bring in really good internships and projects expect an Ivy League student. So there's rigor on both ends of the spectrum here, and it's not for the faint of heart, but it's definitely a great program. We've got students from so many different academic backgrounds, so we're a very interdisciplinary department. Um, so we've got students from many of the technical fields, including physics, mathematics, um, all the engineering fields, and I think that that helps pull people in from different areas. I think that if a student is interested in potentially getting into the workforce or potentially going into research, an MEng degree is really important to them because it opens the door to both choices. So you can come in, get your MEng degree, and then go out and work for the rest of your career, or you can take it as a stepping stone and maybe go on to an MS or a PhD program if you decide when you're here that you're really interested in research. When we asked students why they chose the MSEMNG program um, rather than another school's program or a research program, they generally say because they want industry experience. I think that a lot of students probably go out, come out of undergrad and decide I'm just gonna go work for a company and get some background. And that is totally fine, people can do that. But at the same time, an MNG degree is here for access to more classes Ivy League institution, really good connections, and additional workforce experience. A lot, mo actually all of our students, I believe, um, who take internship, take paid internships. So they're getting paid to get the experience and then it just gives them a better chance to get a job afterwards. I think the, the idea of students coming in and A, coming into an Ivy League school for a graduate degree is different than an undergraduate degree, right? So I think that they come in and expect, I'm just gonna be here for one year and I'm gonna get my master's, move on and get a good job. So that's the, the immediate expectation, but what they end up coming into is we are trying to form a community and we're trying to build interpersonal skills and social networks and alumni networks. So we end up doing a lot of social activities. Uh, we have leadership activities that we have our students take part in every year. And I think that that is something that they don't expect when they come. And then when they get that out of it, it's just an added benefit. We have a cohort of about 30 students, so it's not too large where we can't do something pretty intimate and we take full advantage of that.